Welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner. I'm Sandy Charles, joined by head Phoenix College softball coach, Heinz Mueller. Okay, Coach, first and foremost, congratulations. It was just announced you won ACC AC Region 1 Softball Coach of the Year. What was that like to win that honor? Well, that's quite an honor because we have a lot of good coaches in our conference and a lot of good teams. And, you know, receiving a coach's award is always uh, depends on your roster and your staff. And I have a great roster of players and a great staff. And that's how you attribute to me winning that award is through my players and my staff, really. Now, speaking of your players, this group of girls, you were telling me a little bit ago, there's how many freshmen on this team? There's 15 freshmen. We have four sophomores and 15, 19 total. Um, so it's quite an infusion of young players in our program, but they're very, very good players. They come from very good club teams, and so we're fortunate to get a good group of them. Now you've been coaching for 26 years. What's it been like coaching a group of girls like this? Oh, it's a pleasure. I, I, I love uh, female athletes, first of all. They're very driven, very motivated. They want to excel, uh, not only on the field, but in the classroom. We're very, like, our team this year had a 3.4 GPA as a team. So, you know, it's really a rewarding to see young ladies perform at a high level. And these are more than just your athletes. Do you look at these girls kind of like your own daughters? Yeah, I look at it now that I'm, I've been in age. When I was a younger coach, I was a little bit more demonstrative and not as much uh, from a being sociable with the kids more of a, a job type atmosphere. And I've changed that completely over the years and it's proven to be very successful because uh, I have their backs. Mm -hmm. I, I will criticize them, but at the same time, I'll pat them on the back and just like you would your own kid, really. And what makes this group of girls so unique? They're very talented. Um, they're very skilled players. There's, uh, you know, we led our conference in hitting and we led our conference in defense and we're second in our conference in pitching. So between all three facets of the game, they're, they're special, they're, they, they have it. And what's really unique is that there's 19 of them. It isn't just the starting nine or 10, they're all good. So if somebody gets hurt, I can put somebody in its place and not lose a beat. And speaking of they're all good, you did just win the Region 1 Division 2 title. What was that like that night these girls won? Well, after the game, I look at it now where I let them celebrate and enjoy their victory because they're the ones that really do it. They work hard every day. They have school, they have conditioning, and they have practice. And they got to, we do this from end of August all the way through May where we're at right now. So it's a lot of time devoted mm -hmm. on their part. And they deserve it. Yeah. They work hard, you get rewards from working hard. What's the one thing you try and instill in these girls? Team. Team concept. Um, it's not about you, it's about the whole team. And that's the hardest thing to get across to an individual player because they're trying to improve themselves as a person, as a player, and sometimes they get carried away and not thinking that what they're doing is not helping the team but just helping themselves. So that's number one. Number two is self-motivation. To me, that's the biggest thing about being successful is how self-motivated you are. Speaking of self-motivation, winning that title, you now go on to compete for the national championship. How do you motivate them and prepare them for this next level of competition? It's easy. It's, it's the <laughs> easiest part of it all. Yeah. Seriously, yeah, because we won our conference. That was really hard. We finished in first place. And then we took the region title, which is just as hard, if not harder, because every team is equal to you at the region tournament. So getting out of that is just a breath of fresh air because now everything really is the way I look at it is gravy and I, and I let my team play. I, I don't overcoach them. I let them do what they feel good about, what they want to wear, what they want, where they want to go eat, everything. It's all them. They earned it. So that's the easy part. This is the fun part. This is the reward part of having a great season. Now, so many freshmen that are going to be going on this national stage. Are there jitters? Are there worries? Have you noticed anything? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, they're just, a lot of these young ladies play club ball. And of course, the club organizations, no matter what sport it is, basketball, soccer, whatever, baseball, they get trained really well in club ball. And they face a lot of good competition throughout the nation. So this is just a step for them. Uh, again, the hardest thing is just forming a team, having that team chemistry and making sure it works and then going on, I don't see them being afraid at all, not at all. 
it's just one big family. Yeah, it is. It really is because yeah. um, we we have a you know strong 300 some players alumni yeah. in our program, and and so it's tradition. So these players here carry you know they have to carry on that tradition. They can't let their particular team go down. They have to keep up that tradition, and so relationships are very important. Very important. Now this big family, we're just gonna try and get to know them a little more. A little rapid fire about these girls that have worked so hard this year. Um, best singer on the team? Uh, Jenna Nips. Jenna? Jenna, yeah, she played last night at our banquet. She even played the piano. Oh, that's incredible. Which is really good. She's a really, really good singer. Talented on and off the field. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> okay, worst singer? Worst singer, uh, Danae King. Danae? Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, it's absolutely horrible singer. <laughs> Who's the mama bear of the team? Mama bear is Brittany Hopper. Brittany is a returning sophomore. I feel she tries to take care of the rest of the players, even though some of the players don't like it. She tries to mother them. So. And who primps the most? Oh, Kennedy Garcia. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Kenny Sparkles. We call her Sparkles. <laughs> That's Princess, our nickname. Princess, Princess Sparkles. Mm -hmm. Kennedy uh, wears glitter all over her her uh, visor and hat. All over. And all over. She's just a princess. She's At the end of the beautiful. day, they're just women. They're just women, yeah. they're just, but they have a lot of fun. So that's the name of the game. Um, if it came down to one thing besides self-motivation is letting these players play and enjoy the sport the way it's supposed to be played. So. I love it. Thank you so much. Good luck at the national championship. Thank you. For Coach Mueller, I'm Sandy Charles. We'll see you next time.